Hello, welcome. We are solving a question here that deals with describing the effective tax rate. So the idea is that when you earn income, let's say you're earning your gross income is $100,000. This is the amount of money you have coming in over the course of a whole year. Well, you're going to pay taxes on that. Now, before you pay taxes, you take away what's called a standard deduction, or you might have some other more complicated way of doing this, but the idea is you take your gross income, all right, GI for gross income, you take away your standard deduction, the government's not going to tax you on this amount, and what's left over, in this case 87,800, this is called your taxable income. Why am I telling you all this? Because the effective tax rate has to deal with um, the ratio of how much you're paying in taxes over your taxable income. So for example, Let's say um, you're paying a really high tax rate. Like your taxable income is 87800 And the federal government says, okay, well, we're going to charge you $87,800 in taxes on your taxable income of 87800 This would be a 100% effective tax rate called ETR. Now, you're not going to pay 100%, but instead you're going to pay less than that. Right? This number up top is going to change, and that's going to alter our percentage right here. So for example, let's lower Let's say you pay 8,780. Now that divided by 87,800 is 10%. So your effective tax rate would be 10%. You're paying 10% of your taxable income. So this it's out of your taxable income, not your total income, because we want to find out, well, what are you actually paying in terms of taxes out of what you can be taxed on, right? Not just not just out of your whole gross income, which you're not being taxed on. So here, it's not the total amount of federal taxes you pay. It's not a total amount. It's not the total amount here. You go to choice, uh, oh, excuse me. So these are saying it's total tax rate, is the total amount of federal taxes you pay, that's not it. This is saying the total amount of state taxes you pay, not it. The total taxes you pay divided by your taxable income, that's what we have right here. All right, hope that helped.